So we have here a second skill and what we want to do is we want to show or hide this second skill and we're going to do that with this option here. If you click on hide it will hide it and if you click on show it will appear again. Let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look at it. I already have the boiler template. If you want to get the boiler template in the description box you can find it at this page here specifically. All right so I'm just going to race ahead and what I want to do here basically we're going to have a double data set here and one data set will be specifically for the other Y scale. So I'm going to say here, second Y scale. And then for this, to make it slightly different, I'm going to give it here uh, 900, 900, zero, zero, I guess like that, 900, 900, et cetera, et cetera. All right, and then just give it a slightly different color. There you are, save, refresh. So now we have this here. So what I want to do then is to make sure that this is related to the second Y scale. I'm going to say a comma. Let's say Y access ID and the ID is capitalized, both of them. And then it will be equal to Y number two. So once I did this, save, refresh, we have a Y number two, but I want to position it on the right side. So we're going to scroll down here. We're just going to make a new Y axis ID basically or an object here for the Y axis number two. And I'm going to say here, uh, uh, position will be on the right side. Save, refresh. There we are. So what I want to do is I want to hide this by using a button here. That was a specific question. So what I need to do is before I even make the function, I'll just have here a very simple select option. Here's how we say here, select. And I'm going to say here in the select, I'm going to say this will be triggered on change and it's on change we'll get a specific function which is height scale and that's the scale and we're going to use it this value so what i'm going to do here next is we're going to say here options and then we have here basically three options first option will be value blank and we'll say please select or something like that you could make a checkbox doesn't matter so much i'll just make it like this very straightforward and simple. So we say here zero uh, value zero and then here number one. So this will be say, so we'll make a hide and this one will be show the item. All right, so now we have this here. And we have this value that reference to the value here or at least to this entire element, but we need to grab the value attribute later on. The value for the function here is height scale. So let's start to work on that by creating a function, height scale. So then in here, we have the this, and the this would be the uh, selection. Let's say the selection. And what I want to do is I want to just show you the selection, selection, but we need the dot value. So if I save that, refresh, open up console log, click here on one, there we are. One, zero, and blank. All right, so this works clear. So what I want to do now is I want to create an if statement. I'm going to say if. Because what I want to do is I want to hide the Y scale. How do we hide the Y scale? Let me just show you this. We're just going to say here by display and say false. The moment we do display false, make sure there's a comma here, save, refresh, it hides it by default. So this works. So let's set this on true. And then here we just create an if statement. If value equals one, we're going to set it on hiding, which means display false. And if it value equals number one, it will say display it as true. So we're going to say here, go to the value selection. And we're going to say that this one will be equal strict zero. If this is equal strict zero, in that case, my chart. So we're going to just go to the chart object, options dot scales dot uh, second scale y number two. And that's we're just going from here config or from options scales y two. And then in here, we're going to say a dot display set this on false and else if that is not the case we're going to say that this will always be true no matter what so what we're going to do here then is basically this if i save this of course we need to say my chart update to update the chart or else it will not affect itself so if i refresh here you will see it will not work and the reason why it doesn't work is this value here is a string value, so we need to convert this into what we call a 
uh, integer. So we need to parse it. And parse means to make something readable for. And then we say integer. So the number, it will become a number. If I save that, refresh, there we are. Now you can see we hide it, even if I click this one, well, maybe we can even remove that to say show or hide. That makes a bit more sense. But that's basically how we can show or hide the scale.